Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I got my first subscription of the Deck of Scarlet. So if you want to see how I created this face look using the Deck of Scarlet palette number two, stay tuned. All right, so we are going to get started using the Deck of Scarlet. This one is not your mother's purple. Pop it, punch it, push it. We're playing with purple this month and it's going to get hot. From the glam rock glare of Sophia to the smoked insolence of making mauve. These curated shades create edgy but wearable looks. Super saturated violets are so bold they're cocky, while nuanced neutrals are tone matched to perfectly build and balance the look. The high pigment formulas lay down major color impact in one stroke. How far are you willing to go? Okay, so Deck of Scarlet's is a every other month subscription. It is for $29.99. So they send you a palette and this one actually had a lippy to go with it. And in it on this side has uh, two colors as far as the lips go. And then this side has the blush and the eye color. So we're going to play a little bit today. Um, I took a peek at the one stroke graphic lip crayon. It was a dark brown. So I went ahead and used Whirl as my lip liner. Well, hello, Rusty. So this lip color is a dark color. Um, I think the choice of using Whirl for a lip liner was good. What I like about this color already is it's got some shine to it, but that will probably mean it will not last through the day. So it feels nice and soft on the lips. So yeah, it's not going to last long. And that's always a bummer for me. Okay, so this purple is bold and we've got some... Uh, pink blush here. I went with a peach. I think I'm going to actually use the pinks at the pink blush as a eyeshadow. We're going to go in with some peachy keen. We're going to go in with this color making mauves. I think that color builds up nice. Right. I'm going to flip to the lower lid now. Um, I'm going to add a black, the Milani Waterproof Eyeliner. And then I'm going to go in with this bright purple Sophia. Take a mixture of the Peachy Keen and the Gilded. I'm going to use a bit of the Vivid Brights. This one is Vivid Blossom by NYX. And for a darker punch of purple, we're going to pick up the Vivid Violet from NYX. I'm going to add on my first color of mascara. Apply some wispies from our Dell. I'm 
Once these dry, we'll put on another coat of mascara to help my eyelashes stick to the false ones, especially because this little guy right here wants to keep popping up. All right, we're going to play with the brows a bit while my eyelashes are drying and just kind of beef up the color there. Nothing too fancy on the eyebrows, just something nice and light. And we're going to put on a, another couple coats of mascara. Maybe not a couple. All right, so that completes this look. I'm not really 100% on this lippy with it. Um, and I may want to go ahead and try a bit of blush. And the blush is called Bobbity. Let's see if maybe, ooh. Maybe that helps a bit. I think the lip color might be too dark for me and maybe the purple too bright. I don't know what, what one it is. So I'm going to tone down my lip and maybe see if that helps. I'm going to go with the Burberry in Dusky Pink. Okay, I think having a lighter lip for me feels a little better or a lot better. So I think that chubby lipstick is a, a, a bit too dark for the eyes. Maybe if I didn't use the purple and I just used the mauves, it would have set better. I think once I used that bright purple, it just didn't flow as well on me as maybe it would say on someone else that had tanner skin, maybe blonde hair, I don't know, but the white skin, dark hair, that all didn't work. So give me a moment and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. Thank you so much for watching my video today on this Deck of Scarlet Every Other Month subscription for $29.99. So I really like the concept. Um, this is the second one that they put out, I believe. Um, I believe it says edition number two and it's called Hot. So the colors are pigmented. They go on really nice. They blend well absolutely love the pigmentation. Um, I did not really use these colors here for the lip. I did try to use the chubby lip crayon, although the chubby lip crayon really wasn't for me with these eye colors. Um, maybe if I hadn't used the purple, the really dark lip would have looked fine. But the dark lip, my really white skin, and then the bright purple, it just wasn't a good match. So I do look forward to um, kind of mixing that up. And then because I did such a bright purple eye, I wasn't really feeling using the mauve or the, the, the chocolate brown. It just, both of those seemed a little too much with the purple that was in here. So I ended up using a little bit of the blush, even though I didn't start out using it. Holy crud, like, that blush is pigmented. I barely put any on and it was like, whoop, I had a little uh, purplish dot on my cheek. So I have to say for the Deca Scarlet, I really like the pigmentation. I love the concept of putting a palette that you can just throw in your purse and go. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that today. So if I need to touch up throughout the day, I'm gonna see how well this does as far as touching up goes. So pretty excited about that. Overall, I like I said, I really like the concept. I am looking forward to future subscriptions from Deck of Scarlet. Even though these colors weren't something that I normally gravitate to, that's why I love subscriptions. They push you outside of your comfort zone. It is really easy for your eyes to always go back to something that you like but what's really nice is when someone pushes you outside your comfort zone you see that you can create something that you absolutely love or like and you never would have done that on your own so with that said i'm going to keep the deck of scarlet 
subscription going and just kind of seeing how, where it, the road takes us. But anyways, if you have used Deck of Scarlet, please leave some comments below. I'd love to hear how you feel about Deck of Scarlet, either before this palette or if you've got this palette and you've tried it or haven't tried it yet. Kind of what are your initial thoughts? I'm totally looking forward to hearing what you have to say. So if you can put those comments below, I would love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.